Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you've read the title, this video will be covering Avira Mobile Security. It's been a little while since my last upload. I've been very busy outside of YouTube, hence the lack of uploads. Now, some of you might have noticed that this is a different testing device. I have been investing in better hardware for this channel, including this Pixel 6a and a capture card for future videos. I'm hoping that this new hardware will allow me to create more interesting content for this channel. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. I will go ahead and click through the setup process. If you want to take a closer look at anything, feel free to slow down the video. It seems like Avira wants to automatically open the Profile tab. This is where you can sign in or enter your activation code, should you choose to activate it. I will not be purchasing Avira Prime for this test, as I don't believe it will affect the detection rate. However, there is an activity log. This is supposed to record all of Avira's actions on the device, including removing malware. And below this are all of the settings. I'll only be changing one setting, which it is the scan files option. I know that scan for Griskware is not turned on by default, and I'm going to leave it that way since Avira does not seem like that is an important threat category. Below all of this is the support section. Now let's switch over to the dashboard. Now this is very simple, which I like to see. It just has a smart scan button, and that is it. Let's switch over to security, which it contains your web protection and anti-theft modules. I like to see this, especially with all of the explanations. This makes it much easier for novice users to figure out exactly what all of this does. It makes it easier for me as a reviewer because I don't have to go through each and every one of these and say exactly what they do. Let's move on to privacy. Once again, Avira explains everything here. We have a call blocker, identity protection, VPN, microphone protection, blah blah blah, you get the idea. I'm not going to click on any of these. We have performance. I've already given a lecture on my thoughts on these kinds of modules and optimization apps, especially when it comes to Task Killer. So if you want to hear my lecture about it, feel free to look at my older videos. And that's pretty much it for the UI. Now, with the overview out of the way, I want to show you what malware samples I'll be using today. I have 116 malicious APKs for Avira to find and remove. These are a mix of old and new threats, including adware, trojans, and ransomware. Now I will go ahead and begin a smart scan. Let's see how long this takes. I will be right back when it completes. Avira is done scanning and has found 95 threats. I will be ignoring the privacy and performance issues because those are not important in this test. There is no remove all button, I don't think. Now this disappoints me because it makes my job of removing all these a little bit difficult, but at the same time I can understand why they do not have remove all button. The average user would not have this many threats on their device at a time. Anyway, I'll be right back once I delete all these. I have finished removing the detected threats. Let's see what's remaining. So we have 22 files left. I will go ahead and show the detection rate on screen now. As for my final thoughts on Avira, I was really expecting it to do better. Their desktop security software is one of the best options on the market. Now, let me be clear, this is not a bad result by any means. Some of the other security apps I've tested have done so much worse. 
one thing that I do have to praise Avira for is their explanations in every tab. For people who want an easy to understand security app, this is really a good option. With that said, thank you for watching this video.